Now this illustration uh, deals with making a tap over 25 foot up to 100 foot, tapping from larger conductors with a smaller conductor. And the first thing I, I believe is kind of important is let's uh, review the note. The note says that the tap rule is used for tap conductors over 25 foot in length up to 100 foot in length. Notice the horizontal tap of 25 foot. That can be made no greater distance than 25 foot horizontally. And this is so engineers, electricians, inspectors, you know, they could look up and see that tap and know that it hasn't been routed in such a manner they can't see it, like routed through a wall. You can't see that. So they want this to be open. I have seen in some uh, districts, whether it be state, county, or city, mostly city, they would require that horizontal tap of 25 foot or less run. They'd require it identified maybe in a color that wasn't being used, maybe yellow, uh, blue, uh, red, whatever. But they would require it so they could look up and see it. Now, this would be by electrical ordinance, naturally. Now, notice we have a 350-amp main ahead of that feeder. We have a junction box that complies with 240.21B4 item 9. And notice we're tapping with smaller conductors. And the minimum size tap that could be made there in this over 25 foot up to 100 foot run is number 6, as we'll see. The tap conductors naturally meet 240.21B as in boy for item number three that you see in the illustration. The overcurrent protection device in the illustration of where the tap is uh, terminating to that main in the panel board is 240.21B as in boy uh, uh, item four, or excuse me, B for item three. So looking at this, you notice we have 40 foot, 25 foot, and 30 foot, and we have not exceeded the 100 foot permitted. But if we review our table uh, and look at our table 240.21B uh, uh, there, I believe, uh, we can make any size tap we want as long as we follow the formulas and provide the protection that we want. Now that is a big change because you're tapping over 100 foot to a length that would give you the amount of length of conductors with this tap to terminate at the equipment due to construction, uh, due to other equipment mounted on the wall, and so forth. Now, uh, with this information, let's move on to figure 9-25B and perform this tap.